So I, bro, I don't think we're gonna be able to do this. Hey, 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 hey. Hey, yo, what's good, you hypers? Welcome back to the channel. I know I suck, I suck, I suck. I'm so sorry, I know. I say I will be uploading constantly. It is just so hard, guys. I have so much on my plate. You guys don't even know. Like, if you guys can see what I go through every day on my daily schedule, it's so busy. So I do apologize. I know it's not an excuse, but I apologize. But as you guys can see right here, I do have the monkey. This is the first look, guys. The first look to seeing my monkey. I have not even posted it on my vlog channel. So if you guys are on this channel, I know people are more loyal on this channel. So I'm definitely showing you guys first. It's not a reveal video, but I mean, I guess might as well show him now because he's with me. I kind of have him with me. He's like a baby, so he kind of needs that attention. So I figured I might as well stay with little guy right here. But anyways, today we're going to be getting into what determines the price of a sneaker. First thing is first, like this is to anything, not just sneakers, but anything in life is the value it brings to that person. For example, why do we like sneakers? It's something that we like, it's our hobby, to collect them, to resell them, whatever it is. So sneakers bring value to us. So a thousand dollar pair of Yeezys means something to us, but to somebody that doesn't care about sneakers at all. Oh, there he goes. It might get a little cold, but this video's not gonna be too long, so I gotta wrap him up after that. So I... Bro, I don't think we're gonna be able to do this. But anyways, like I was saying, to a random person that doesn't care about sneakers, they could be wearing Skechers every freaking day. They don't care. They don't think it's worth paying a high price point for resale value sneakers that we put on them. So that's just a quick general example. But now getting into the nitty gritty into like what specifically raises and drops the value and this has no exact amount. It just kind of helps you determine if a sneaker will have resale or not. And I know you guys hear him. I hope he's not interrupting the whole audio in this video. What's up, Bubby? What's up? Come here. Hey, see, that means he's angry. I don't know what he wants. I, he wants his, um, I would open the box, but he pisses randomly, so I'm just gonna, I'll let this open right here for him. Look, Okay. Look. Go jump in that box if you Wanna go in there? Oh, you know what? He's hungry. I don't know, he has an hour till he eats. What's up with this guy, bro? Look, I don't know if you guys just saw that, but he just pissed. My chair's all wet now. It'll absorb it, though. <laughs> Not my chair. <laughs> Anyways, going into specifics. Bro, what are you doing? Come here. Here, I'm gonna give you a teddy bear. Believe me, this is gonna be a charm. Come here, baby. Look. Look at that. Magic. Get him every time, just like that. So he's gonna chill in here for now. He's probably gonna pop out a little bit more way through. Anyways, going, trying to get, trying to stay on track here, man. Trying to stay on track. First things first, quantity. Easy thing to talk about, quantity. Low quantity is gonna have high value if it's a hype sneaker. But what makes a sneaker hype? That's the question. One thing is aesthetics. So for example, let's say they come out with like a rainbow color sneaker. That one's gonna be hard to sell unless it is very limited quantities and it has a big name. So obviously, if it was a Yeezy, rainbow color, well, I can't even talk about Yeezys no more because Yeezys are like so up and down on the market, it's so confusing. But for example, let's say Off-Whites. Those come in limited amounts and they never restock. It's very rare that they do restock. I don't think I've ever heard of them restocking other than having an early release and that's different. That's not a restock. That's just a pre-release and then the actual release. It's not a restock. A restock is if they drop, like the sneaker's supposed to drop today and then they restock sometime in June, something like that. So Off-Whites, prime example. These sneakers are sold in very limited quantities which makes them pretty expensive. Obviously, I don't know the I don't know the numbers. I'm not really good with numbers. I kind of got out the resale game. I mean, I'd like to be in it, but it's so difficult now, and so many people are doing it, and then Instagram just kills that. But then another thing, other than the numbers, is the look of the sneaker, and also who makes it. So Off White is made by Virgil. Virgil brought a new. He brought like a twist to the sneakers in Nike. Like Nike was only meant to be like athletic, as you guys can see. They only hire athletic people. Virgil had, I think, is like the first person that comes into the game and twist that up and makes the sneaker more casual. For example, the UNC ones that I had, those used to be a basketball sneaker. Like Jordan ones are a, generally a basketball sneaker. And then he came in and made it more as a dressy sneaker, like more artistic and whatnot. He just changed the game completely. Another thing that changes the value of a sneaker is also the value that people put on it as far as the money goes. This is not, this doesn't really happen much in this sneaker game, but it happens with other things. So it's just like a market kind of thing. It's like an economics kind of thing. So let's say I start selling the sneaker at 500, right? Then somebody wants to get the money for 400. Then everybody starts selling at 400. 
So then that means everybody that's at 500 has to lower their price to 400 to be able to sell their sneakers. If not, they're not gonna be able to sell it unless somebody just wants to flex and pay 500 for the pair of sneakers. And same thing goes for any of these sneakers. That's how we personally can affect the market, but it's not gonna happen because obviously we wanna make our money on the more limited sneakers that are harder to get. It's really not that many factors that go into the price of a sneaker, but it can fluctuate throughout time. Sneakers take about six months for their price to actually like settle out and then they're gonna start increasing again. First, obviously, if you have sneakers before the release date, they're gonna be have a high value. And that is because it's very limited. Like this is like prime example. So I'm gonna take a, talk about a timeline of a sneaker. For example, the Desert or Air Maxes. They were selling like over a thousand when they, before they even came out. And that's because nobody had them. Only very limited people had them. And those are probably people that knew people in Nike that were able to get them for them. And then closer to the release date, if you guys notice, the price started dropping slightly more and more because as they were making quantities, more people were getting their hands on them before the release though. So they were still reselling for like 700 and somewhere around there. But once the release date came, they dropped to like about 500 and they went down. And that leaves a lot of people with DS pairs. So obviously these sneakers just came out. They have a lot of DS pairs, but the more time that goes by, there's gonna be less DS pairs because people are gonna buy them from other sellers, resellers to be exact. And they can either hold on to them if they buy it initially, but it's obvious that as time goes by, there's gonna be less DS pairs. So that's why the Air Yeezy 2s from Nike that people still have that are dead stock and they sell them now, that's the reason they have such a high resale value. They're highly anticipated. There's very little pairs of them left. There won't ever really be a point that there's none left unless everybody wears the sneakers, but there's always those collectors that just buy their sneakers and have them sitting there. And those collectors are the ones that have hella value in their sneakers. Anyways, guys, I think that's pretty much it. That's everything that pretty much influences the price of a sneaker initially. And I guess I kind of got a little bit into more depth as to how it goes throughout the timeline. But if I miss anything, please let me know in the comments down below because I'm pretty sure I did. I kind of made this video a little quick. Like I said, I gotta go take care of him. I gotta feed him in an hour. I gotta eat before I go to work at five. It's already 3.30. I'm rushed. I know I sound like I'm, I talk fast. The reason I talk fast, guys, is because I just move at a fast pace. Anyways, guys, if you guys have any more questions other than what I left out, leave them down in the comments below. I, I am getting back to all the comments now because like I said, since I fell off, a lot of people haven't been watching my videos. Not many people have been commenting, so I do have the time. I mean, like while I'm in class or whenever I get the chance to reply to you guys, I do go ahead and do that. As you guys can see in my previous videos, I have done that, that I've dropped in the past month or two or three, whenever I dropped them. But I have been replying, so I recommend you guys to go ahead and leave in the comments any questions. I will get back to you, I promise. Anyways, if you guys did enjoy this video, make sure to smash that thumbs up button. It really helps me because it gets my video out there more than if you guys don't, obviously. Just the way YouTube rankings work, it'll put my video out there and it'll help me grow. And along with that, as I grow, it'll help me put more content out because it pushes me to want to put more content out for you guys. And also, don't forget to subscribe and turn on your post notifications so you guys don't miss out on any videos. So when I post them, you guys will be notified and you guys will never miss out on my video ever again. Anyways, guys, hey. until next time, make sure hey. you guys keep grinding. Hey, it's your hey, hey, I get the pack that I'm running out the back though. Bitch, run the fuck, but she need to keep them legs closed. I hit the stain, bitch, I'm down just like 10 toes. No shit for free, bitch, six bands for a damn show. Voicemail the bitch, can't be fucking with no opera.